Cloudinary's video player already optimizes your videos for every device, but it also gives you video transformation capabilities on top of it to crop and resize it to the sizes you need. Here's how we can use the CLD video player component to maximize performance in Next.js. To see how optimization works, we'll first add a local MP4 video using just HTML. If we open the Network tab, we'll see that our page loaded about 2 megabytes initially. But when we play the video, we'll see that the rest of the video gets loaded, which if we play it until the very end, amounts to 72 megabytes. That's pretty much the size of the whole video we have locally. Ok, let's check out Cloudinary's optimization now. I already have the next Cloudinary package installed, and also the environment variable for the cloud name set. I have the same video uploaded in my media library, so I'm going to use the CLD video player component to render it. Ok, so if we refresh the page now and play the video until the very end, we'll notice that it barely gets to 5 megabytes. I mean, how's that possible? It's the same video, right? Well, it is, but it's not. Maybe you've noticed, but this time we're actually loading a WebM video instead of the MP4 video. Cloudinary automatically adds WebM format video for me as the source of the video element. And now, since we're requesting the video from a Chrome browser, Cloudinary sends the WebM video because it knows that Chrome supports it, and because it's, as you can see, drastically smaller than the original MP4. To demonstrate the automatic optimization even further, I'm going to open the same page in an iOS simulator in Safari, which does not support WebM. As you can see, this time, Cloudinary sent us the MP4 video. But again, if we play it until the very end, we're going to see that it's still smaller than the local video example, which was 72 megabytes. And this one turned out to be 38. Ok, so this means that Cloudinary generated an optimized MP4 out of the original MP4 too. Ok, so aside from the optimizations, we can also crop and resize our videos to only deliver the sizes we need. We can do this by passing an object in the transformation prop. If we provide a smaller width and height to only load the size the browser could display, our video will be resized down, which will also reduce the page load. We can even crop by specifying a crop of fill and a gravity property of either auto, center or any of the supported values, such as if we wanted to crop it to a square to change the aspect ratio and automatically frame each scene based on the subject in the video. To learn more about what transformations you can use, check out the next Cloudinary docs. In review, you can easily optimize your videos for better performance by simply using the CLD video player in your Next.js app.